It's been clear for some time, actually, they're looking for a midfielder. That stayed, I think, quite stale area for some for the, of the team for some time. Now, some of that stale is kind of, uh, for reasons outside the control, the injury to N'Golo Kante. It was, I mean, a lot more than some of their other signings. One of the areas they needed, or at least needed to kind of upgrade and evolve, I would say, with real quality. And that's what Fernandez brings. I think he's a more rounded midfielder than, than Jorginho, I have to say. I think there's more to his game. I mean, Jorginho obviously is very high quality. I think he can be unfairly maligned, but they're very specific qualities, especially in terms of the kind of his control of tempo uh, and, and also some of his defensive work. I think Fernandez is part of a new mold of midfielder that is a bit of a reaction to the tactical evolution of the game, where there's he's got more attributes in that sense. Well, it's almost like the next generation of Galacticos, potentially, isn't it? They've gone very far for youth, Chelsea. All of these players are basically under the age of 24, the majority of them, sorry. There's been so many questions raised about the extent of Chelsea's business. The argument I've had put to me is that they've spotted inefficiencies in the market, particularly as regards young players, and they're tr- trying to get ahead of the game in that sense. Now, we won't know whether this actually works for a significant amount of time, I would say. I mean, we, we could be talking about five to ten years in terms of the whole project, especially financially. It's not quite a, a Galactico squad for now. It's a Galactico squad for what next, you might say. I think as Manchester United show, if you make the right signings in two to three windows, you can very quickly change focus, which means, especially for these sort of clubs that have this sort of money, they can go. They can. They can become title challenging teams very, very quickly. And look at what Conte did in 2016, 17, and we're going back a while now. Uh, so I actually don't think Chelsea are that far off, even if they're mid-table right now.